Let's see, are we live? I wonder. I wonder if we are live. We should be. Hopefully we are. It looks like we are. Yes, wonderful. Welcome. Welcome to Hachioji. It's been a while since I did uh, a session of my Chuo Line Mega Walk. But today I'm finally hoping to wrap this up. So the final stretch of the Chuo Line, which I've already walked all the way from Tokyo Station to Hachioji Station, where I'm currently at. The only part that remains is a little bit from here to Takao Station, which Google tells me is um, let's see how many kilometers. 5.7 kilometers, says Google. Let me just zoom out here a little bit. Here we go. Google says, one hour, 13 minutes, 5.7 kilometers. Uh, let's see if that's correct. Uh, I will also start my Apple Watch to track this walk. Just a moment. There we go. And the final thing before I'll start walking is to give you a little weather update. It's currently 7 degrees and you have the current time here. So yeah, let's go. Let's go wrap it up before 2020, 2023. Yes, Daniel, I will. I will wrap it up today, hopefully, if everything goes according to plan. Then uh, who knows? Maybe I will start another series like this and maybe I will once again have your wonderful company on an episode or two. Who knows? Uh, but yeah, good to see that so many people have already tuned in. As you can see, it's a gorgeous day here in Tokyo. Blue skies, good walking weather, um, sunny and nice. Sorry, there was some dust on my screen. Uh, yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited about finishing this walk and today I also have, as always, my GR3 and uh, today I do have a memory card in the camera, unlike yesterday. Uh, and I have not just one, but two fully charged batteries with me. So I am planning to shoot plenty of photos, which of course I will share with my patreon supporters as always there's a nice some light nice light and shade here on these people uh, let's see if i can capture that there we go well, it's very difficult to shoot with a camera and <laughs> stream at the same time maybe i won't do that but yeah i'm kind of in the mood to shoot a lot of photos today so we'll see how was my Christmas? Uh, it was very nice, very nice. Quiet family Christmas, but uh, my daughter was very happy with her gifts and me and my wife was very happy with having plenty of delicious food. So yeah, you can't really ask for more, can't you? We're almost halfway to Minami Alps. Yeah, I guess we are. I guess we are. Minami Alps. I wish I could go all the way to Minami Alps, but I don't think I have that much time. <laughs> At least not today. So I'll actually take a little detour. I remember that there's a kind of nice shoten guy down there. Uh, Google tells me the quickest way to Takao is to just pass the station and walk on the other side. But I will, I will. I don't come to Hachioji very often and it's kind of a interesting neighborhood to me. So I will do a little detour and explore this area. Did you end up shooting the full 40 photos on the GR yesterday? I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's it was just a little bit too dark that walk. And for that my my uh, pixel is actually a bit better for low light photography. So I didn't take that many photos, but I took a few that I haven't really checked yet, but I guess I will upload them to, uh, to the gallery. 
客様が安心できるサービス提供に努めてまいります。I think I just took like 10 photos on the GR. I really like this, the, the light and the, it's like all being reflected from this building. So you have this kind of nice uh, patches of light hitting the buildings here on the other side of, the, of this uh, pedestrian walkway. I kind of like Oh, and we got a new member, Jotaru Kujo. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you. That's highly appreciated. Hope you will enjoy getting that cool little mark next to your name. Oh, and look, we can actually, from here, we can see the mountains over there. That's probably around Takao and where we are heading today. Decided to wrap up this. It's my second time to walk the entire Chuo line from Tokyo to Takao. I enjoyed it so much the first time, so I decided to do it again. How about you, Daniel? Maybe you should do it in just one go <laughs> as the next step after doing the Yamanote line. Actually, I don't know which is longer Yamanote line or Chuo line to Takao. But it's uh, regardless, it's a, it's a great walk. I highly recommend it. say Hachioji is like the last district in western Tokyo that still feels like big and urban. After we leave Hachioji it really you really get a different vibe, a different side of Tokyo. The, basically the, that's where the rural aspect or the rural part of Tokyo begins. to my patreon yeah as always that's where you will find some goodies like my patreon only streams and of course the photo gallery so if you want to get access to those and help support my channel you should join oh Jeffrey there's a coffee beer shop that you wanted to recommend but it's not open today that's that's a bummer which one is it there's actually a beer shop near Takao Station that I want to check out, uh, but uh, I don't know if I will be able to do that today. Don Quixote with the old logo. I guess they haven't started replacing those yet. It's called My Home Coffee Bakes Beer. Okay. Hmm. I don't know that one. Where is it? Is it around here or closer to Takao? Yeah, I guess I should snap a photo because this facade will probably change relatively soon. Okay. So let me take a look at the map here. Yep, 
I should turn left at the next crossing and pass the train tracks though. So there's actually just two stops that we will see on this walk. It's Nishihachioji and then Takao. It's a Takao station by the Minami Asa River. Okay, I see. the chat won't break today. That was so annoying yesterday. It's so nice to walk here rather than busy Ropongi yesterday which was just kind of stressing me out. Uh, even though yesterday's walk turned out to be very nice as well but I don't know it was just something about those crowds that really put me off. I guess I can walk down here. Looks like there's a bridge. Bridges are always cool. Tokyo Station to Takao Station is 48k. I see. And how long is the Yamanote Line loop? It's like 30 something, right? So this is a little bit... Yeah, it's basically the logical step up for you, Daniel. I challenge you. <laughs> Do Tokyo to Takao in one, in one stream. And I will forever be your fan. Nice, typical Japanese storefronts here. Can we cross? I think we can cross. Thank you, Cool Roddy. Thank you so much for the super chat. Yeah, it's just, to me, it's just so much nicer to walk in, in areas like this, where there's not too many people around. We did talk a little bit about potentially climbing Mount Takao right after finishing up today's or finishing up this this uh, series of chill line walks, but I will not be doing that because I don't have that much time today. I need to work. It's too bad. It's too bad. But work is work. I need to pay my bills. Uh, but I do plan to visit Mount Takao with my wife relatively soon. So I'll see. If she's up for it, I might record a little video uh, when we are there. Is it a holiday in Japan today? No, it's a regular, regular weekday today. There's some holidays coming up. Uh, I think Thursday and Friday are holidays in Japan. But Monday to Wednesday are just normal days here. I think we should get down this way. If I remember correctly, last time I did this walk, I think I bought a burger a little bit further down this street. And then I had it in a pretty nice park, which came up a little bit later. Just a moment. Noticed my phone screen is kind of blasting on full force. That's not good. I want to be a little bit smart with my battery. Did you take the Yokohama line to get to Hachioji? No, I didn't. I took, uh, I changed to the Nambu line in uh, Mizunokuchi 
and then I took number line to Tachikawa. Uh, it was about the same in terms of time. I think I think uh, Yokohama line route would be a few minutes slower and cost. Oh, maybe this is. Yeah, I think this is the place where I bought the hamburger. Um, but I'm not going to do that now. Uh, yeah, the, the, the taking the Yokohama line would be a f take a few minutes longer and cost like 150 and more. So no reason for me to do that. Also, I always enjoy riding the number line. It's kind of it's a cozy little line, stopping in all these like very very local neighborhoods. I guess the Yokohama line is kind of similar though. I don't take that one very often. Today is a replacement holiday for Christmas in Malaysia. Okay. What? Because Christmas was on a weekday or weekend? Then you get a bonus day off or how does that work? The Yamanata loop is 42k. I see. So then you should be able to do the <laughs> Chuo, Chuo line in one go as well. I would be very impressed if you managed to do that. Let's see. Let's walk down to the train tracks instead and follow those. What phone does he use now for streaming? It's written in the video descriptions down below, but it's the iPhone 14 Pro Max. You did get lost and distracted a few times by slides and beer break. I see, Daniel. I see. Yeah, it's easy to get distracted, especially by slides and beer. And especially those two things in combo. But Jeffrey, maybe you can see if there are any other coffee shops uh, around here or the area that I'll be walking today because I would love to do a coffee break, ideally relatively soon. Uh, it's a little bit chilly and uh, I also 
I've also just had one cup yet today, so another one would be good. It would be pretty noisy to live, especially in these old, typical Japanese houses. I don't think they have much of a soundproofing. So living like 10 meters from the train track, train tracks with a train that passes every, I don't know, five minutes, or maybe even more frequent than that. I'm not sure if I would be too happy about that. I tried the RAW of the iPhone 14 Pro. I have, yeah, and there. I haven't really bothered copying them into Lightroom on my computer, but I've taken some RAW, pho RAW photos and, and played around with them directly on the phone in Lightroom. And uh, they're pretty good, they're pretty good. I think, yeah, the iPhone is definitely just like the Pixel, It's it's really, like challenging the basic level point and shoot cameras now. Things like the Ricoh GR is still better, of course, but that has a significantly larger sensor. For vast majority of people, I would say that probably an iPhone is good enough these days. We're only <laughs> 1,802 viewers away from TE eating Christmas at KFC. KFC, yeah, yeah. So who knows? There might be a KFC branch down at uh, Takao Station. So if we can get 1,800 viewers before I get there, I might end the stream with a bit of KFC. <laughs> Reflection reveal. Uh oh. Yeah, they, these mirrors are like everywhere here. It's called B Coffee in here, Nishihachi Oji Station open. A bit south. I see. Maybe that could be an option for me. Yari, don't be so negative. I think we can get 1800 more viewers. I'm not allowed to cross here. I guess I'm not. I'll walk up one block then. station on the Chuo line. I don't know if there's such a thing as a main station, but it stops at many pretty major neighborhoods. Uh, so of course Tokyo station also stops in Shinjuku and then all the like major neighborhoods of western Tokyo basically. So Nakano, Koenji, Asagaya, Gikugo, Kichijoji, uh, Tachikawa and uh, Hachioji and probably a few more that I forgot about now one day coffee stand slightly east of Takao station I see well, maybe I'll just do a kombini coffee uh, for now relatively soon to get my fix Check out 
this temple here. You know that you're in in the outskirts of Tokyo when you see something exotic such as benches on the street for people to sit down. Central Tokyo doesn't do those. Not on the streets. Maybe in a park you can find a bench in Central Tokyo, but Ah, thank you, Jenny. Combini Coffee Fund. Thank you so much. Of great composition, you have a great eye. Thank you, thank you. Hopefully, my my um, twenty plus years as a professional photographers have taught me something about composition. <laughs> of course, I do also upload quite a lot of photos to Instagram again these days. So if you're not following me there. Consider doing so. Wonder what these are. If they will plant some something in these, or if it's for something else. Is that Congo in? Uh, let me see. I have no idea what this place is called actually. Uh, Congo in? Yes, that's right. I didn't know. I didn't know. Uh... Hey, Yuka. Good to see you here. Hope you've had a great Christmas. See, I wonder if I can walk through here or if I need no there's a gate over there but it's locked I guess I should take the same way back when you take photos they take a single uh, photo or multiple photos of the same thing. Usually I take a few just to be safe. Um, yeah. And usually I refocus between the shots just in case that there was some misfocus or something. Shrine detour. I wonder what gift you gave for your cute daughter. <laughs> so she got one of these um, wooden railways. Uh, very classical toys with like magnetic trains and uh, yeah, a few different things that you can put around the railway. She got the kind of starter set for that and she's super happy about it. Even this morning before going to to the nursery, she wanted to play a little bit with it. So yeah, she was super happy about it.
yeah I guess I can show you this it's not very her face is not very clear so this is what she got for Christmas she was very happy about it she got some other stuff too of course but that was like the the one that she seemed to have enjoyed the most she also got some books by her grandma and some clothes and a few other things was it you or your wife that came up with the train set ah i don't remember we bought it quite a long time ago but at the same time she we bought that we also bought this kind of like uh, Duplo, kind of like Lego but bigger, uh, which we gave her right away. And then we held on to this railway until Christmas. <laughs> yeah, it's huge for her. <laughs> and she's like now she's she's in that age when she wants to share everything with with me or her mom. So she's always like Papa kite, papa taskete. <laughs> Whenever she's like trying to build something and it doesn't work out, uh, so it's 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 very cute. and all my other Tokyo-based YouTuber friends, you should all come visit us sometime in Futako Tamagawa so that you get to see, meet her in person, Mini Explorer. She's a lot of fun to be around with. Mini Explorer deserves a Fuji Instax to start following her dad's path. Well, actually, she already knows how to start the camera you know on the iPhone like you don't even need to log in to start the camera and the uh, mini explorer has already figured that out so she's actually sometimes just taking my phone my phone and she's like shashin totte like take let's take a photo <laughs> so that's very cute it's very cute but yeah she i i want to give her her own camera i think she's still a little bit too small for that because she kind of understands like the idea of taking photos like that you you aim the phone or your the camera towards something and uh, that means something that something happens when you do that but she doesn't really know how to actually take a photo itself or to how to watch photos that part is still not i think it's a little bit too abstract for her so uh, but once you get a little bit older and figures out the entire process, then I will make sure to get her a camera. Probably not an Instax though, because then you have to buy a lot of film, right? Which is super expensive. I think just some basic digital camera is a bit more usable. already starting to get close close to Nishihachioji actually that's probably where those high-ish buildings are located wow we already walked half an hour time flies
what about a child's 10 megapixels or better digital compact yeah maybe i i don't know i'm kind of more leaning towards buying her like a, a real camera but one of those that are a bit more rugged maybe a slightly older one but i haven't really looked into it so i don't know out there and what has a good cost performance ratio but I don't think image quality will be super important but then again like it would be cool like if she managed to get like a good shot uh, that it's actually captured in decent quality we'll see are you saying that Mini Explorer doesn't have the ISO shutter speed table memorized yet? Yeah, not yet, not yet. <laughs> Maybe she will soon. What are they teaching kids at preschool nowadays? Yeah, yeah, I mean, she's, she's almost two and a half now. She should know those things, right? When you start giving her Legos, I hope you never experience it accidentally stepping on them. Yeah, that's pretty painful. That's pretty painful. language do you use to communicate with little T? Uh, so I speak mostly Swedish to her and her mom speaks Japanese and then usually me and my wife usually speaks in English to each other so I hope that she will pick up a little bit of that as well but uh, she's mostly basically right now Japanese is her main language that's what she gets exposed to all day at the nursery so Cute little piece of land here. Did you notice your Swedishness more when you moved away from Sweden? Yeah, I think I did. I think I did. I started to realize that a lot of the things that I took for granted and that I thought was just common sense was actually a very strong, uh, like the way I was like that was because I grew up in Sweden. So yeah, I think I realize it more now and I'm also more kind of more proud of it, I guess. And I kind of appreciate the good aspects of Swedish society and culture, which I didn't care about at all before I left. Yeah, I expect my daughter to be trilingual. If not, I would see it as a big, big failure. Languages are so important. And it's really something I would make sure that she gets. Good morning, old school Bible man. Good morning, good morning. 
thanks for tuning into this stream as well. <laughs> you were with me last night too. Impressive. <laughs> Impressive stuff. So I guess it's the station coming up here. And probably around the station we should also be able to find a decent cup of coffee somewhere. This bee coffee is like a roaster. Not many coffee shops around, or at least not many interesting coffee shops around here. There's some... Ah, that's closed. Where does Google Maps show me nail salons when I search for coffee? It's kind of weird. Yeah, I guess I'll just do a kombini coffee for now. And then maybe I will find something better when I reach Takao. cups of coffee do you drink per drink? Usually just one, sometimes maybe two, but usually just one. Do you still recommend a DSLR in 2022-23? Uh, no, I would recommend a mirrorless for any serious photographer. Uh, but phones are good for most most people, I think, and uh, I would say, especially the last two years or so, uh, especially the last two, two, three years, the phones have really been taking a pretty big step up in image quality, and I think they're now, yeah, they're now good enough for most most people. The biggest downside with using a phone is that it's not a very interesting shooting experience. You don't really feel like you're taking a photo, or at least not to me. <laughs> but image quality is pretty good. Pretty big apartment building here. Eight floors. Must be quite noisy. I hope they're not having their bedroom towards the train tracks. Me considering selling my A72 and buy Minolta CLE. What's that, Minolta CLE?
have a combini somewhere around here maybe no ah there's one down there i'm sure there will be another one closer to the station um, is not the place for you today there's a dotor on the north side yeah but the dotor then i actually prefer combini over the tour the tour i would only choose them if i really wanted somewhere to sit down inside but their coffee is really nothing special and it's like twice as expensive as the combini one CLE is an old film camera introduced in 73. I see, I see. Yeah, why not? Film is nice. Uh, if you don't mind the weight for developing the film, then if you're not using it professionally, by all means, do that. Like this is probably the, st the side of the station I want to be at in order to find some shops. Why are you bringing so much film? Like, can't you get hold of film here in Japan? It shouldn't be so difficult to find film. Or is it? Uh, yes, here we have a family mart. Nice, nice. There's the tour, yeah. Or is it very expensive to buy film in Japan? I don't really know. I haven't done that in many, many years. So I should probably wear a mask before going inside the kombini. Let's check out this little street here. Kodak film is twice the prices in Tokyo as it is in Toronto. Oh, I see. I see. Then, yeah. Bringing some light. Makes sense. There's a very sleepy shorten guy. Ah. Goes to Takao as well. Wow, film is so expensive now. Yeah. I understand, definitely. Then it makes sense. Snack as well. Yeah, why not? Let's get a caramel cream puff as well.
my combini coffee now let's see if we can find a place to sit down and drink it before finishing up this last stretch between Nishihachioji station and Takao station yeah I think those sounds in the convenience stores would drive me crazy too they're not as bad as some shops though there's like so many shops here in Japan that has like some really annoying jingle playing on repeat constantly and usually on pretty high volumes too. That's, that's almost torture to me. Convenience sounds are maybe a little bit more manageable, I would say. See the mountain stuff over there? That should be Takao and the surrounding mountains. Really close. Really close now. mini coffee like oh, it's it's good like it's I mean it's like regular any machine coffee I would say but on the good side like machine coffee can range in quality and I would say that most convenience have pretty good machine coffee I like it I wouldn't be happy if I paid 500 yen for that quality but when it's just 150 yen for a cup, for a cappuccino. I think it's pretty, pretty reasonable. Let's head back down to the train tracks. Look, there's a person standing there. ever read convenience store girl no but I like the title already sounds interesting <laughs> oh, you are so small but so noisy
we're almost at one hour and I'm probably halfway to Takao already. I think last time I did this walk I took a pretty massive detour so this last episode took much longer. Now I'm really following the train tracks. I don't know what you like better. Thank you. It's so sunny here. I can't read the chat very easily right now. Um, it looks like I got a super chat. Orville, sorry, thank you so much for the super chat. For my next combini break. Thank you. Thank you. Actually missed the train station jingles. Yeah. That I can understand. Those are very nostalgic to me too, especially since we don't have any train station jingles at all in Sweden. I kind of like the idea that each stop has its own little melody. Still 3.5 kilometers to go. Oh, is it that far? On the Yamanote line, it's rarely more than one kilometer between the one kilometer between the stations. Let me check the map. Oh, it looks like there might be a little park over here. Then I can sit down and have a have my cream puff or maybe it's a nursery ah it's a nursery then I can't go there I think I need to boost the brightness here a little bit so I can read the chat there we go Fun little playground. I'm sure my daughter would have loved this. Do you have a favorite train line jingle? Ooh. I can't say I have a favorite one, but I always enjoy. Like whenever I go to Osaka, uh, I think it's the Osaka Metro that has a pretty distinct, different sounding melodies, like when the train is approaching and uh, maybe also the station melodies, I don't know. But yeah, I do like the sounds of riding the train in Osaka, just because it's a little bit different and unique to me. But of course, all that like, classical JR Yamanote Line station jingles uh, are also enough to trigger like a nostalgic response in me whenever I'm back in Sweden or something like that. Number station in Osaka is the one that stands out to me. Yeah, I'm not sure which one that is, but the line that I live on, the, the, the Entoshi line, they don't have any jingles at all. It's, I think it's mostly JR. JR always has it. I'm not sure about other train operators. Hmm. 
Hmm. I want to have my caramel cream puff. I wonder if I would offend anyone if I just sat down on the grass here. shade here having a cream puff and watching the trains that shouldn't be offending anyone I'll try I'll try I'll be quick just a little break here at the one hour mark let me take out the tripod probably need both my hands in order to eat this thing. It looks like something that could easily cause a bit of a mess. There we go. Okay. Let's cream puff. <laughs> Sit down and have the dang cream puff, dude. <laughs> okay, Mr. Miyazaki. I am. Um... Mm, this is very good. Just what I needed right now. A little sugar and caffeine boost. I'm almost done. That was quick. Very quick cream puff break. I would like to run along all these tracks. Tracks. No, yeah, Jennifer. I'm sure many of them would work very good as <coughs> like rugging, jogging trails as well. Okay, I'm done. Let's take my trash with me and continue. Cream puff rating. Uh, I like that one. The caramel taste was really good. Uh, I would say, I would probably say four out of five. Strong three or weak four. It was good. It was good. You do everything in a hurry, T. <laughs> mm, I don't know. Not really. But when I stream, I know that so many of you viewers are extremely impatient. So I try to not sit down for too long unless it's really necessary.
seven out of ten yeah yeah that's probably a good a better way to put it surprisingly high rating for combini cream puffs i know i think so too who would have thought already lunch time almost strong three week four like an earthquake rating <laughs> yep that's when you know you lived in japan for too long when you rate everything in life on the shindo scale Now that I've been following the train track so closely for most of this stream, I feel like I should continue. Smells like gas here. That's not good. Maybe it's someone's kerosene heater. I don't know. Oh, these apartments are really close to the train tracks. Yikes. <laughs> Mr. Miyazaki, yeah, you have very good patience, absolutely. You would probably happily watch me just do a beer break for an hour. Unfortunately, most of my viewers are not as patient as you, Michael. they're kind of like renovating it so we're not allowed to enter there's some cones blocking our way you should never mess with the cones that's, if that's if it's some one thing that i've learned from all the years living here in japan is that you should never never ever try to enter something a place that has been coned off because then bad things are will happen to you 100%. Wow, traffic down here. Who knows, when we reach Takao, maybe I will do uh, another sit down with you and just celebrate, maybe celebrate with a beer, even though I haven't had lunch yet, but just to celebrate that we made it all the way. I think that that's reason enough to kind of break the, the golden rule of no beers before lunchtime. Or I could just have something, have some, something to eat and then that wouldn't be a problem anymore. 
ますネイルサロンズおう I guess Justin's chat might be lagging behind <laughs> quite a bit or that he's watching the much earlier part of the stream two kilometers to go really is it that far Takao station is over there by the big white building at the end of this road doesn't look like 2k to me but maybe it is yeah I was kind of expecting today's walk to take like three hours but it looks like we will get there in just one and a half maybe I should go climb the mountain after all I'm really tempted to do so but the thing is just that I don't think the this Good enough signal on the mountain anyway so I can't really continue the stream if I were to do that Google tells me 1.8 kilometers to go and I think the chat just froze again or maybe everybody's just very quiet hmm maybe you are yeah Check, check. Okay, it is working. The chat is still working on my main phone. Good to know. Thank you, Scott. The same white minibus keeps going past. Really? Maybe someone is following me. <laughs> One, two, three. Test, test. Okay, the chat is working. Thanks, everyone. <laughs> Justin, yeah, I thought so, <laughs> that you weren't live. When I saw your nail salon comment, I figured you must be watching a different part of the video. Oh, look at this. This is a rare sight. Completely empty parking lot. I don't know why. Probably this is a private one. and the chat is working yes Justin there's been surprisingly few super chats this stream though I wonder if the super chat is working correctly hint hint nudge nudge
maybe everybody's just holding off until I reach my until I reach the goal. I hope that's the case. Not the most exciting stretch this like next to the train tracks not too much going on around here but then again we're basically in the countryside of Tokyo so it's not a terribly interesting place maybe Let's Indoors Tennis School. That's an interesting name. Let's. Thank you Jennifer, thank you for watching and for the kind words. And yes Brad, it is indeed a bit of a different vibe out here. Is it a holiday in Japan right now? No. Japan is one of those countries where Christmas is not a national holiday because Japan has no Christian heritage, so why should it be? Uh, instead, there's a few national holidays over the New Year season. This is, a, is this a little park? Yeah, cute little park. Looks like good park for practicing bicycling. That's probably what it's for. How cute. Why does everybody ask about that? No, I don't like KFC. I think it's, it's, uh, I don't know, it's shameful that the worst kind of junk food has become synonymous, synonymous with Christmas in Japan, a country which otherwise has a very refined and elegant, elegant sense of what's good and what's bad but for some reason they managed to get tricked into this KFC for Christmas stupidity. I will never support that unless I get 2,000 viewers, then I will. for most people to hear that you don't like fried chicken. I don't dislike fried chicken per se, but I'm not crazy about it e either. I much rather prefer grilled chicken. But if I were to have fried chicken, I much rather prefer like Japanese style karage rather than the, the junk that's being sold at KFC. Are there any fast food chains that you do like? Any Swedish chains? Uh, the 
only Swedish fast food chain I can think of is a burger chain called Max, which is all right. I usually go there when I'm in Sweden, at least once. It's a little bit nostalgic for me, but I like a lot of Japanese fast food chains, uh, especially Otoya. I think Otoya is probably my favorite Japanese fast food chain. Uh, but I also kind of like Matsuya and Yoshinoya, Tenya. There's a lot of Japanese fast food chains that I like. I'm not too crazy about American fast food though. And I think my, my dislike for KFC is actually because the first time I had KFC, we don't have KFC in Sweden, the first time I had it was in Berlin, maybe 15 years ago or something like that. I think it was in Berlin or somewhere in Germany. And it was me and a bunch of friends. We had been like out partying the whole night or something like that. And then someone came up with a brilliant idea of buying like a bucket of fried chicken from KFC and we had that and the kind of feeling I got afterwards was just so gross like I I don't know why I, I felt like really sick and also like really that I've I don't know I've given my my body the worst kind of like fast food it was basically only fried chicken and french fries no vegetables no nothing else and it just it was just so disgusting so ever since then i've kind of had a very negative feeling towards that ch that chain freshness burger yeah freshness burger is good uh, Otoya, that's right, breadboard. They sell like Japanese, typical like Japanese, I should say, katero yori, like, yeah, the kind of normal Japanese home cooked food. It's really good, very uh, good prices, generous portions. Otoya is good. Otoya is good. Getting close now, Paul. We're getting close to the goal, to Macau Station. We're also getting very close to 300 euros, meaning that we only need 1,700 more, 700 more, in order for me to wrap up this stream with with a KFC bucket while doing a face reveal at the same time as I stuff my face full of greasy fried chicken. Wouldn't that be something? Wouldn't that be something? Lunch at three Otoya before. Maybe Nakawago and Bangkok. Ah, didn't know they were, they had a Bangkok branch as well. Yeah, Otoya is always a safe bet. Like whenever me and my wife are like struggling to figure out what to eat, we often end up googling and see like if there's any Otoya nearby. And if there is, we tend to go there. Just a moment. Maybe there was a little park nearby, which could be a nicer. Uh, no, that was not a park. 
it's a big shopping mall i see i think last time i passed by that big shopping mall on the opposite side yeah 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 here probably the parking entrance over here soon I'm not sure I'm getting pretty close to Takao station but I do feel like maybe I want to wrap out with having something to eat together with you all we'll see thing on their menu is their popcorn chicken that sounds somewhat interesting maybe I'll try it out next time I I found myself in an unfavorable situation of being stuck with KFC for lunch or dinner using Prism live apps. Yes, I am. I'm using Prism for my streams for a pretty long time now. Well over a year, I think. It generally works pretty well. It's very cold and crisp. It feels, I don't know, it feels a bit different to be out here in the nature with the air feeling like this. Difficult to, to explain it in words, but it's a good feeling. It's a good feeling. just a few weeks earlier yeah yeah it's definitely a different different feeling in the air now yeah prism did release an update not too long ago that allowed us to stream in higher quality than before higher bitrate and also 60 frames per second so that was a pretty good jump up in quality when I started doing that
Takematsu. Yeah, like I said yesterday, no matter where I walk, you will always say that you drove through this place recently or that you used to do it back in the days when something something. <laughs> You've been everywhere, just like me. You're kind of like the, the trucker version of Tokyo Explorer, I guess, or maybe Kanto Explorer even. You've probably seen the outskirts way more than I have. Maybe you should start live streaming your your rides. I'm sure people would appreciate that. But yeah, Takao Station is definitely very near now. Very near. So that will be the end of this series. 2022 version of the Tokyo to Takao Mega Walk. We made it once again. station area is not terribly interesting it's very nice if I go down to Takao Sanguchi maybe I should look up if that beer place there is actually open uh, there is a beer place that I want to check out near Takao Sanguchi There's an Otoya nearby. Wouldn't that be grand? This is McDonald's here. Hachioji to Takao in an hour and a half. Much quicker than anticipated. Only McDonald's served alcohol. Thank you, Jenny. No, that's not the place I'm thinking of. It's a newly opened coffee and beer place. It's actually run by, I think it's run by a Westerner. Uh, I follow him on Twitter, but can't remember the name right now. It's the Keio Takao station anyway. And JR Gates are just over there. So yeah, we made it. We reached the end of this series. And um, hmm, let's see, do we get a view of something up here maybe? As I'm thinking about, as I'm trying to figure out how to, what to do now. Can you do live broadcast 60, 1080p, 60p? Because uh, I'm using a software called Prism that supports that. Mm, zero kilometers to go. That's right, Scott. That's right. 
So I think I'll just wrap things up for now here and then I'll see what I can find and I might do a Patreon only stream if I find a good place for that around here. Uh, but I don't have unlimited time today, so yeah, I have to I have to kind of study my options. I would like to kind of celebrate this with a beer and a bite. Um, Yeah, it's next to Takao Sankuchi Station. So I think I'll just take the train. I'll keep the stream running a little bit longer. I'll take the train to Takao Sankuchi and I wrap things up with a, with a beer and a bite there. Why not? Why not? Gucci. Looks like there's a train leaving in a few minutes from track 6. Yeah, why not? I don't do train rides very often on this channel, but why not? Why not? Stream continues, yeah. Yeah, why not? So actually when you go climb when you go to climb Mount Takao, you don't get off here at Takao station, you go to the next stop which is called Takao Sanguchi, which basically means like the entrance to Mount Takao. So that's a good good thing to know if you're planning to come here that you should not get off the train here at Takao station so we're going to Takao Sanguchi there's a train coming in five minutes From here you can take the Keio line all the way to Shinjuku as well. Oh, this, this train platform has a pretty nice view. Where are we? We are at Takao Station, so we've actually reached the goal of this series. And then there's this quirky building as well. I don't know what it is, but it looks like something between a space station and the headquarters for some sort of dubious religious organization. <laughs> Do 
yeah basically Takao is the last major stop on the tour line before it kind of goes into the real countryside Wait a few more minutes for the train. And then we will do the one stop ride to Takao Sanguchi. Amazing sunny day. Yeah, it's very nice today. Other train lines take you into the countryside. Mm. There's a lot of them. Many lines in central Tokyo actually extend really really far out. Especially the JR lines you can take them and get like far up in like yeah rural Saitama. There's also some of the Seibu lines which goes to pretty rural places. Odaku line goes all the way to Odawara and passing some kind of countryside-esque neighborhoods on the way so that's also one of the great things about living here that you can have so much variety you just hop on a train and it can take you really really far and uh, it's also generally quite cheap so here we have a little train line map so it's kind of ironic that this this whole series is about the JR Chuo line, but now I'm actually taking the Keio line, which is a different company. But anyway, we are here now at Takao, so we're going to Takao Sanguchi. But then, see, so you have all these stations until you reach Shinjuku. So I think if you take the quickest train here to Shinjuku, I think it takes about maybe 45 minutes. If you take the Super Express. over an hour or not probably it does take over an hour enjoy the reflection reveal. Very 
quiet on this train now, so I don't feel too uncomfortable streaming. still alive that the signal survived the tunnel and everything looks like it did yeah great great so Takao Sanguchi let's beer bonus train ride yeah I should have ended the walk once I reached Takao station but let's let's do this together let's celebrate by having a little maybe a coffee and a beer break maybe something to eat as well let's just get all of it like the signal is not really recovering that well but hopefully the image quality is acceptable yeah the Takao station is very nice or Takao Sanguchi station is very nice this is a bit of a tourist place so they put a little bit of investment into making the area nice I think last time I came here they were also doing some construction work here down by the river and apparently they're not done yet I mean, this, been a, this is a popular spot. It's been a popular spot for a very long time. So, I think recently there's a few new shops that I want to visit now. 
very kind of old-fashioned around here before. Yeah, like very typical traditional touristy shops, but not a place really for like high quality coffee, but will fulfill that little need. It's Taka Mountain House. house. I'm pretty sure. Kazaki too. Nice. Wonderful. Craft beer menu. Welcoming me. And maybe. <laughs> so look, when we just bucket of fried chicken that's like one thing on the men, men on the menu here i'm not gonna have that no i might try a sand a half sandwich or a full sandwich not cheap but it should hopefully be worth it soon it's struggling oh it is that sucks yeah. so they don't hear me Tokyo So let's see, is the signal working at all or are we ah, buffering, buffering? Let's see, I'll switch on the internet uh, hotspot on my other phone and we'll see if that makes things better. Are we still live? I just switched on my the hotspot on my other phone, which says it has a 5G signal here. So hopefully. Hi. 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 Hey, I got a beer. see if it works Let's see are we live can you hear working right
So we made it. We made it to Takao. We made it to Takao. 40 something kilometers all the way from Tokyo to Takao. For the second time. <laughs> I'm happy to be here. I'm very happy to be here. See if I can get my sandwich soon too. Yeah, it's, it's breaking up pretty bad. Hi, hi. I got my I got my reward, my pulled pork sandwich and the craft beer. Oh she does now. What's the name of the place? It's called Takao Mountain House. It's a newly opened place here, just next to Takao Sanguchi station. Yeah, not much left for me to do now than enjoy this hopefully delicious sandwich and uh, say thank you so much for joining me on this adventure and uh, Merry Christmas and all those kind of things and I look forward to starting another series soon but uh, with all these technical issues I think I don't know do you want me to keep the stream running as I finish my sandwich? Why not? Why not? It won't hurt anyone, right? Yeah, maybe I should wrap up the day in Tochi Lion walk after this. They also have the um, Tamagawa Josui adventure, which I still haven't completed. So we'll see which one I go for. It went black. Yeah, the technical issues are just too annoying, I guess. I'll just wave goodbye to you. I don't know if that would work, but I'll just wave goodbye to you and say thank you so much for joining me. And uh, I'll be back with another stream. But come on, now bitrate is like maxed out. It should be working. It is working. Yeah. Yeah, just refresh it if it's not working. Then I'll keep it running a little bit longer.
see what else they're saying. Mm. We love to hear the eating and drinking sounds. Okay, I'll keep it running for a while longer then. Maybe you can also hear the kids playing in the background. Yeah, it's been a good walk. A very good walk. Good series. I think I will maybe make this like an annual thing. Do a tour line walk every year or something. Wouldn't that be a good little tradition? To me personally, I just like like the tour line walk much more than the Yamanota line. I mean, the line is fun too, but I just like the variety of surroundings that Chua line will take you through. Yamanote is just super urban the entire time. I hope you make a book about your walks one day. Yeah, I hope so too. I hope I will find the time and the energy to do that. That would be fun. Nihon kara itsu mo mitemasu. Arigatou gozaimasu. Arigatou gozaimasu. doing the Yokohama line. Yeah, why not? <laughs> I don't know those neighborhoods very well, so that could be quite interesting. Will there be a stream tomorrow? Yes, I think so. I think now in the during the holidays I will try to stream like quite frequently as I don't have too much other stuff to do. So I think I can do a, another one tomorrow at least. Probably similar time from today as today. How about Sotetsu line walk? Um, I would love to, but it's just that just to get to the Sotetsu lines it takes me a pretty long time so it's not it's not so easy i prefer lines that i can get to relatively easy Sotetsu line is like in the far south of kanagawa prefecture right so a little bit far away This your free week? Not really, no. Um, I'm actually working this week from, for the Swedish company that I work for. But um, things are relatively slow this week since everybody, most people are on, on holiday. So, and uh, my daughter will be going to the nursery until Wednesday. So at least tomorrow and Wednesday I have plenty of time. Then I will probably spend more time with my family when my daughter is you know, free. Mm. Coco -chan. What's, what's so special about the Yokohama line? The walk of a decade. Is it, is it very long? It is a pretty long line, right?
Yokohama line ends at Hachioji, from Yokohama to Hachioji. It's pretty far. Sototsu line is not far from Takutamaka. No? Don't I have to go all the way to like Chuo Rinkan just to reach like the, the nearest station? very special. I see. To me, Yokohama line sounds chotobimyo. Nanka amari tsukatte nai. Amari omoshiroi area ni tomar nai sen. Mitai desu kudo. Kudo wa nai kana. Welcome. You are late. The stream has essentially already ended. I'm just having a sandwich and a beer now to celebrate that I made it all the way to Takao. But the walk itself is over. Thank you, fungus. <laughs> yeah, I made it. It's been a good walk. I'm almost done with this sandwich. Okay, I'm full and the chat is broken, I think that's a good sign that I should finally wrap things up, 2 hours 15 minutes, yeah, thank you so much for joining me on this adventure, I'll be back probably tomorrow with another stream and um, I look forward to seeing you then thank you so much see you next time bye bye